In this video, I will show you how Ryzen 5 3600 perform on B550 motherboard on stock cooler. This brand new CPU and ASRock B550 Steel Legend motherboard will running inside M at the X case. And we will see how this stock CPU perform. Before we start, let's see the BIOS setup. There are only two things I changed from the BIOS. First, RAM frequency and timing. You can see all my setup here. And second, I disable precision boost overdrive. And other things are default. Before start testing, let's make sure that the CPU is running on default configuration. I use Ryzen Master to check the config and change it if I need it. I switch to basic view and choose default on control mode. For hardware monitoring, I use open hardware monitor to see some indicator that we want to see. We will see on the graph and how the value is changing. We will monitor vCore voltage, CPU frequency, CPU temperature, and CPU power. I will use in the bands R20 to make CPU load and use the score for measuring performance. The test will take 4 tests on default configuration and 4 tests for manual CPU configuration. Now, let's see the number on default configuration. From the graph, we can see the value is fluctuates. On FICOR, the maximum value is 1.34 volts or divided by 2 on the readings, 0.672, with average voltage at 1.28 to 1.3 volt. And the CPU fan hit maximum 2700 RPM. On CPU frequency, we can see that the maximum frequency never above 4000 MHz, it's around 3900 MHz, maybe it's due to limited cooling power. And the temperature hit the highest at 91 degrees Celsius with idling temperature around 50. The CPU power is 76 watt at the highest and around 70 watt on continuous running. We can see the power is decreased when the temperature hit above 80 degrees Celsius. On the first round with default configuration, we got average 3356 on Cineband score. Before we continue to the second test, I'll let you know that I already tried several voltage and frequency combination for CPU configuration to find the best config. And I found that using 1.2V and 3.9GHz will give us the perfect balance for performance, efficiency, and reliability. So let's set the frequency and voltage manually using Ryzen Master and do the same tests with Cinebench R20. 
When you set the CPU voltage and frequency manually, you can see from the reading that the voltage and frequency will add that value. In this case, 1.2 volt and 3.9 gigahertz. It's not only we got better in apparent result, but also we now having cooler CPU and lower power consumption. With average Cineband score 3434, we got 2.3% performance improvement. It may be small, but the temperature is dropped by 9.8% to get better temperature. And the power usage is down by significantly 23% to just 58 watts. For me, that's a big difference compared to default configuration. And I will suggest everyone to also check the CPU configuration before using it. Maybe the combination I use is not the best. You can try yourself and find the perfect balance. Using different cooler will get different results and we'll have different configuration. So that's all for the video it's all about. Any question or suggestion feel free to drop in the comment below. See you next time.